Who should I hire next? I get this question a lot, like a lot. And my answer is always the same. It depends on many factors. So let's dive into which factors it depends on, which questions you need to ask yourself and which exercise you can do that will help you to get this clarity. Hello, I'm Alina. I'm a founder of Retalent Agency. It's a remote recruitment agency and uh, I help companies and entrepreneurs to understand what kind of people they need to hire, where, when, what would be the salary. So we have a service where we help to find these people as well. And in this video, we will dive deeper into the topic who you need to hire next. So I promise you will get more clarity and stay tuned till the end of this video because you will get a great bonus. So let's start. So who you need to hire next really depends a lot on what stage you are in. Like, are you self-employed freelancer? Are you already a person who has a few hires? Are you a person with a team and you have departments, they have different needs, you have a leadership team? Or maybe you are in a stage where you already scale and grow in super fast, so you are like having like 50 plus employees. All this depends a lot. But one thing is definitely sure is that when you are not uh, confident in who doing it, to hire next you don't have this clarity the issue is usually two things one is that you don't have enough time to think even it means that you should have hired definitely some substitute of some of the tasks that you're doing way earlier so we are a bit too late but nothing can be uh, not fixed here it's a it's not a big deal second is that you might have not enough budget to hire all these people in the same time or you don't have time to train them so actually those are three reasons time budget or just that kind of a mess in your time schedule in your schedule that you don't know who do you need to hire because you clearly don't have even time to think of it so today i want to share with you one exercise uh, at some point every entrepreneur gets overwhelmed. This is completely normal. I feel like, especially when you have a service business, it goes a little bit like that, right? In the moments when you're really high up, everything is going very well and the company is scaling and growing. The issue that can happen is that you are taking a little bit too many tasks on yourself. So when I had this moment, I shared that with my business coach and she gave me very interesting exercise, which is, would be the top of the mind of every person, but the way it was done was different. So basically, she asked me to track my time every 15 minutes, everything I'm doing for at least least one week because we had like a little bit of tight schedule until uh, like I needed to decide my goals for the next months and uh, basically we had to see where I am what kind of tasks I'm doing that I shouldn't be doing and it helped me a lot you can do it in three different ways you can use uh, a timer just on your phone. You can always write down the whole day uh, in Excel all your tasks, everything that you're doing. And the third way is to do it in the time tracker, like Toggle or Time Doctor or Pomodoro, like you can do different ways and just writing down there everything that you're doing. The problem I found that for a person like me who is not working all the time on the computer, but can work also on the phone or having a business meeting or going to a networking event, this is all work but I can't track it on my computer. So it would be annoying to come in the end of the day and feel this automatically. What was the time when I had the lunch with this entrepreneur? It just would be a little bit too much. Even though automatic way, like a software, would be the best option for many who just work a lot on the computer. For example, if you are programming something or you are in the process of building a product, I, I could recommend that you could do that. The method I chose was uh, writing down everything in Excel manually. I did it uh, about three times a day. For example, in the morning, I, I do almost the same routine. I write it down. Then during the lunchtime, closer to the like three, 
4 p.m. I write down everything I've done like at work and then I write down the end of the day. In the next morning I write the previous evening. Basically this was the easiest way for me so not just to write down every single thing that you're doing at the moment it's quite destructive you want to be more focused on your work. After the first week I realized that actually I like it so much that I want to do more and I've done it for two more weeks just to understand the more clear picture and um, I felt it helped me a lot because the most important part is not to write down what are you doing and yes it helps you to actually to focus because you're like okay I'm doing this task I cannot just I don't know go to check social media right now you know because I should be focused I kind of I feel accountable uh, in front of Excel <laughs> and my coach of course and uh, in front of yourself after you do that the most important part is to analyze everything you're doing you ask yourself these three questions Questions. And after asking these questions, you see more clearly what gives you joy, what actually takes your energy, what gives you energy, what kind of things you should be focusing at, and what kind of things you should delegate immediately. Uh, for sure, after analyzing for a few weeks, you will see that uh, for example, lots of your tasks are personal that you don't like doing, then you need a personal assistant. Some of them are business, executive assistant because can do both. Then uh, maybe you need to hire operations manager because you see you're doing a lot of operations work, which you shouldn't be doing. Maybe you're stepping in someone else's work from your team. For example, your project manager, maybe you don't have enough trust with them and uh, you always like double checking, micromanaging, all these things can be checked and it's really amazing tool very simple and so in the bonus of this video I would like to share with you this Excel and that you can fill all this information and uh, just write me on my email here and uh, I will send it to you let's keep in touch and uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions if you are not sure between which positions to choose or have any questions about your next hire, you still don't have a clarity after doing an exercise, please let me know and I would love to answer in the comments. I know that all YouTubers say please subscribe and hit the like button, but it really helps, so please do it right now. It takes one minute and it brings me lots of joy. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.